Yo guys, what is going on? You've got Techno here, your coach of the Carolina Pantherians. And uh, today we're back with uh, yet another MPL upload uh, for week seven. You guys will see it. I do have my face cam back, finally. Um, it's been requested, I guess. So yeah, here it is, I don't know. <laughs> Probably won't be there for many videos, but I don't know, I just felt like I'd put it back here, at least. Um, but yeah, so we are back here today and we are fighting off against Owen, coach of the Lane Star Latias. Now, um, we're currently 5-1 and one and in uh, second place in our division, just right behind Turk. Um, and Owen is currently also second place in his division, I do believe. Um, only falling short to Turbo, who is currently, uh, I believe, 4-2. and two. So... Uh, win for either of them uh, is very crucial and so basically like in this it's super important for playoffs and just how they work and seeding and all that um, mainly because if if I were to lose I fall right behind uh, Zidin and Hiker both potentially um, just because my differential like my, I have a lot of wins uh, however uh, been a lot of closer games and my differential is not like that high uh, so it's kind of like step that up if I want to uh, have success uh, with any losses. That's why I really can't like take any losses, honestly. So I got to really focus on my differential. Um, also for the fact that in the other conference, it's just also very important considering that, uh, you know, everyone else is really fighting in the other conference to get that uh, playoff spot just because a lot of uh, really bad early seasons in the other conference, but they're all starting to kind of make a comeback. Uh, I guess you guys will see this week uh, just exactly how they do in the other conference. Uh, our conference has mainly been driving the league, um, but this week is uh, out of conference matches, so uh, each game is against someone from another conference. So these are all like pretty important for both of them, anyways. Uh, We've only had two of these before. Um, one versus Mew, one versus uh, Turbo. We did win both of those. Um, so yeah, it's just probably going to be nice uh, for anyone in the other conference and myself if we win this game. Now, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to talk about Owen in this matchup. Now, um, you guys have probably seen two battles that I've had versus Owen um, on the channel. And you guys can probably tell he's definitely a very skilled battler. Uh, got a lot of prowess in the league format community. Um, it just a lot of really consistent. Um, he hasn't made high playoffs in a while, but that's just because of a lot of bad luck stuff. Um, but otherwise, he's he's a very consistent player, uh, and he always really improves himself in tours in leagues. Uh, he's he's just very solid overall. So uh, definitely excited to play him. Um, and you guys can see his team on the screen right here. Uh, this was a team that, not gonna lie, I was a little bit more scared to play in the beginning of the season than I was later in the season, but we'll get into that in a sec. So he has Mega Diancie, Victini, Tangrowth, Olamomola, Hupiyu, Jolteon, Mandibuzz, Rhydon, which he uh, did for free agents, Lucario, Skuntank, and Aromatease. Now, um, the main reason I was more scared about this team earlier in the season is because uh, instead of Rhydon and Aromatisse, he did have the Hippowdon, and um, what that meant was a lot of my different mons uh, wouldn't be able to deal with this team very well, um, just just based on that matchup alone. Like Mega Kangaskhan, which I had earlier this season, was really bad versus him. Uh, our new Mega is really good versus him, um, but yeah, Mega Kangaskhan would have just been destroyed this matchup anyways. Um, the other thing is, uh, overall versus my team, uh, Hippowdon's just a more solid ground overall, just because uh, Kingdom Powers on my Zapdos don't hit it four times effectively. So, um, with my Zapdos, I definitely pressure him into uh, bolt switching a lot or even doing whatever else. And I just realized that two of my mons don't have nicknames. Um, I'll get into that in a sec. Um, but overall, like, Hippowdon would have been pretty annoying for my team. Uh, it, people might argue that it is setup fodder for Buzzwool if I am like a subset. However, uh, I've I've ran Hidden Power Flying Hippowdon. It's definitely a pretty nice check to Buzzwool. Like it, it does the job pretty nicely, especially considering that I'm I'm not Z Buzzwool. So um, yeah, that would have been totally fine for him if he wanted to even have the Hippowdon uh, this game, or if he even still did, which he obviously doesn't anymore. Uh, so yeah. Um, Overall, you guys can see it's just kind of a weird matchup for me, so uh, I gotta kinda 
uh, make sure that I have enough leg breakers on my team to deal with his offense. Um, mainly the Victini, uh, the Hoopa, and the Diancy are the mons that I'm the most scared of. Now, as we saw last week versus Illusion, I really struggled versus the uh, Infernape, uh, mainly because... I didn't really have great responses to Flare Blitz and Close Combat. My my water type is Greninja, which is obviously like a frail water type, and my dragon type is Zygarde, so um, that's a flaw in my team uh, in and of itself, uh, but it's not like that big of a deal, like it's definitely fixable and uh, manageable, uh, just considering how solid the rest of my team's composure is overall. Oh, not to mention my fire type's also Darmanitan. So yeah, a bunch of mons that don't want to take hits from those things. Um, but you guys saw last week the way we deal with the uh, Infernape is we uh, basically just kind of sacked our Sylveon and let it wear itself down with the Flare Blitz, uh, considering that versus that team it was not a Z-Mon, so Flare Blitz was just always going to be used, no Inferno Overdrive shenanigans, uh, Gunk Shot was pretty unlikely to come uh, just with the matchup of his team, so I just moved around there a little bit. Um, so we kind of had like that surefire way of dealing with it. Uh, however, this matchup we have Victini, which is slower. However, it doesn't rely on a move that uh, I guess makes it like weaker too, or I guess like does recoil. It relies on Vcreate, uh, which could be annoying for him. Um, but my only way of pursuit trapping it really is my Spirit Tomb, and that's never gonna want to come in on it. Um, so I considered a couple of different sets for that thing. Um, Considered like I pop a berry, Darmanitan with like a lot of fizz depth. Considered Spear Tomb, but the big problem with that is just how versatile Victini is in league format, and the fact that uh, they're all very passive versus Diancy. So, um, yeah, with that and the Hoopa U, which were all like really threatening me, I decided that this would be a matchup where I had to really like crank out the offense. Um, which uh, was kind of like hard for me to decide. So a little bit of back hope story, um, I guess, on like how I did this game. Um, in the beginning, uh, I didn't really have a lot of time because uh, I was on a choir tour from Wednesday to Sunday, um, and basically, like, I was at Disney World, like, prepping this team because my team earlier was kind of weird. Like, it, it had a lot of different mods I didn't really like. It had Steelix on it just for rocks, um, which I realized I could just like get rid of for Lycan Rock, which you guys will see later. Uh, I had like Scarf Zapdos. Now I felt like this, like this real need for a scarfer on my team uh just for the fact that um like a bulky scarfer because without it i'm like really threatened by mons like the lucario um just overall that's the main mon that i was super threatened about um lucario setting up like a sword stance or whatever so you guys will see how i decide to deal with that later but yeah uh those were the biggest threats to my team um just overall, and uh, so I kind of restructured this team uh, in a ride uh, waiting for Disney, or waiting for a Disney ride, uh, which was kind of weird. Um, so that'll kind of reflect on some of my plays this battle, uh, which I'll get into later. But anyways, I've rambled long enough. Let's just get right into what this team actually is. So first mod I decided to bring is going to be our uh, first wall breaker, uh, Life Orb Greninja with Dark Pulse, Water Shirk, and Hydro Pump, and U-Turn 96 HP. 252 special attack and 116 speed now not really much to say on this thing uh i just outspeed everything i need to outspeed uh, i didn't want to run modest this game um w risking like a no speed uh diancy because uh, he could still very well run max speed even for uh, versus my team because i do have the lycan rock which it will possibly speed tie with so not really something i'm willing to risk right now um which so i think that just having a uh, regular life orb is fine does a lot of the breaking power anyways and um I can still always just like u turn out on anything that I'm like sort of afraid of, which I'm not really afraid of that much. I guess maybe the Tangrowth is the only mod that really wants to, I guess, come in on this thing. Even the Aromatisse, maybe. Everything else just kind of gets destroyed by this. Although my Mola can't take hits from this thing for very long because I am Life Orb. Uh, best thing it can do back to me is Toxic because he cannot Miracle me because I am a Dark type. So, uh, yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Um, and yeah, this thing is just overall a really nice breaker versus his entire team. So, next one we have is going to be uh, our Sylveon. Now, uh, I did mention earlier that this team went through a lot of different uh, processes um, in terms of how I built it. And the first idea was uh, Subcombined Hyper Voice Baton Pass Sylveon um, into uh, like Agility Zapdos. Now, that would have been a pretty cool set, a uh, pretty cool tech to run. However, versus his team and in mocks, I kind of realized that getting up the Calm Mind Pass right into my Zapdos was a lot easier said than done. 
uh, just because a lot of the mods I set up on can like toxic me and like stuff like that and I always tend to just want to get him as Zapdos earlier so I decided that instead of that I'll just make this thing a nice um like kind of bulky sweeper versus him with the shadow ball so that uh, versus Victini I'm also in a pretty good position now with the speed uh, I outspeed a no speed uh, Mandibuzz with a little bit of investment and uh, I also outspeed uh, the Victini after a V create which is really good if I'm behind the sub and I get off a shadow ball I can then just proceed to fire off another shadow ball and then to KO that thing depending on where it's at and if he's a salt vest or not so uh, something to keep in note there um, and then the rest of this um, this actually folded in perfectly uh, this uh, defense investment like exactly allows me to not get my sub broken by liquidation from Olava Mola, so that's something that's good to notice. Now, uh, best responses are obviously the Victini and the Tangrowth because Tangrowth does take the hits and just poison jabs back, but I'm pretty fine versus both of those. So this thing's overall just a really solid win condition, and uh, yeah, very happy to have this thing on the team. Next one we have is going to be our offensive Venusaur with Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Hidden Power Ground, and Synthesis. Um, not really much to say on this thing, but if you look at this team, this thing's just an amazing wall breaker. It comes in on like so many different ones of his mods and just destroys them. I was hesitant to bring this because of the Hoopa. Um, however, I felt like overall the matchup was just too good to pass it up. Not only does this thing beat down like Tangra, the Loma Mola, um, but it also just kind of destroys mods like the Jolteon, if I'm careful, around the Z-move, which you guys will see how I do that later in the battle. Um, uh, careful around, careful around uh, mons like the, um, I guess Lucario too. It'll probably have Zen Headbutt, but like, um, or Psychic. But either way, like I still have my Scarf checks in the back, and I can always just switch in on this thing if I need to, and probably take at least one attack. We'll take two because I am an offensive set. Um, but yeah, Venusaur is just overall pretty solid this game, uh, just in terms of the offensive pressure it puts on. Hit up our ground over Earthquake, just mainly because um, I just wanted to keep that uh, special attack investment, didn't want to lower any of my defenses, uh, and the fact that, uh, I don't know, I just felt like it would be a better bring this game. Probably could have brought Earthquake in hindsight, but this just seemed like fine overall. Um, so, next one we have here, uh, sticking with the offensive nature of, the th of this team, we have Focus Sash, Lycanroc with Stealth Rock, Stone Edge, Drill Run, and Acela Rock. Um, not much to say here, this is kind of just like a designated lead, uh, really nice for a lot of his team, and Acceleroc is just very solid. I had this thing on the team from the get-go, however, it was, it was, it just became my rocker on the Disney ride, um, so I, that, that's basically the, the way that, like, I kind of, like, built the rest of these three mons. I originally had Scarf Zapdos, like I said, but Scarf Zapdos, although it's good for momentum, it's not necessarily the breaker I want with my Scarfers, so, um, what I decided is I would just end up bringing my Buzzable, and I actually don't have my, um, moves on this thing, so, yeah, this'll be our own experience, so, uh, this was my Scarfer, uh, I guess I just updated this on my computer, um, just considering that I don't have any of these moves right now, uh, but this was my set right here, um, let's see, attack is max, and then I have enough speed so that, uh, after a choice scarf, I outspeed the Jolteon no matter what, which I believe was that, and then I put the rest in HP. Okay, sweet. So, the good thing about this Buzzle set right here is that it always beats, uh, the Lucario if I come in on it. Um, Extreme Speed does, like, nothing to me, even at plus two, um... And then I just kind of break through a lot of his team. I don't need superpower or break break this game, um, really, because I'm not afraid of screens that much. Uh, actually, I think I did run brick break. I I can't exactly remember. It might have been brick break. For the for the purposes of this video, I'll put brick break, um, just because I don't want to get fucked over by screens uh, in general. Uh, screens just really annoy me, uh, so I don't I don't want that to happen at all. Um, and uh, I know Owen is definitely known for bringing screens quite a bit. No Klefki this draft, even though he usually has it, uh, but still, like, I gotta be kind of wary about that. So, that's the idea behind this puzzle right here. Really nice revenge killer, I can even sweep if I break down a lot of his walls. And then our last mod is gonna be Kraugano. Now, the main reason I have this mod is because uh, I was feeling pretty threatened uh, by the ability to, of him to, like, bring hazards and the fact that, like, I wanted one more wall breaker just to make sure I had, like, at least one mod for, like, all those other things. So, free strike, hit up our ground, signal beam, rapid with the expert belt with 40 HP, 252 special attack, and 216 speed with Intimidator. Not much to say here, just Kraugnos pretty good versus him. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, just get right into it now that I've covered my team. Uh, this team overall functions really well synergy-wise, no real designated sweeper. Um, anything can really do a lot of work this game, so let's just see how it goes. Alright, so uh, here we are at the game. And you guys can see my opponent has brought a team of Victini, 
Alma Mola, Jolteon, Dianzi, Hubiyu, and Tangrowth. So, pretty much what I was expecting. Um, I expected either Jolteon or Lucario. I didn't see Mandibus coming that much. Um, but uh, yeah, he actually does end up bringing the Jolteon instead. So, I'm wondering what that's going to do. Um, because, fun fact, unbeknownst to me, this is a Z user Jolteon. Uh, at the time, I was just playing on the bus, and I was really fucking tired. Uh, so we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm sure you guys can tell where this is going, but, uh, yeah, so that's something to note. Like, some of these plays are just really trash, uh, cause I fucked up my calcs a lot this game. I just fucked up a lot of things, but, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just get right into it. So, I've got a designated lead, it's called Lycanroc, so I'm just gonna leave with it. I actually don't leave with it, what am I saying? I lead off with my Buzzwall. Um, because versus his team, I'm pretty sure I expected the Diancie lead, and I thought maybe I'd be able to cop that thing turn one from EQ. I also kind of predicted a Hoopa lead, but, um, yeah, instead I leave with Buzzwell, um, which I don't know why, Lycanroc was always my best lead, I'm, what was I thinking, um, <laughs> but, yeah, um, so I'm just gonna go right into Lycanroc, if I just led with Lycanroc, this would've been fine. Uh, but he's gonna get up a blue flare. Gonna do like not a lot, so I'm not thinking that he's like a like a uh, like I can spec set or anything. So now I can get up my rocks, which is totally cool. Uh, and he goes into the tango that I predicted that. Um, and on this turn, you guys can see this is like one of my only like really good plays this battle. Um, I I go into my cryogonal because um, Venusaur is a very obvious switch in right to the tango. Um, however, this is a really nice middle ground play because I can signal beam the Hoopa that's likely going to double and I can just attack the Tangrowth. Worst case scenario is he knocks me off and I'm totally fine with that because um, I can always just do whatever I want to him afterwards. So yeah, that's going to happen and I'm just going to fire off signal beam. Can't really risk this thing doing much. I signal beam and I get a crit right there. So um, uh, that that's really unfortunate for my opponent, Owen. Um, however, uh, let me just like... Put this in retrospective. Um, let me just show you what he goes for next. He goes for focus blast and does 80%. Now, I obviously like always just two a KO this thing with a signal beam right after, right? So uh all I have to do is uh like just go for another signal beam. Chances are I try to predict something the next turn. Like I might have just gone right into my uh buzzwall the next turn. Um I might have just stayed in. I could have done so many different things. So honestly, like uh I, I don't know. Like where this crit would have, where this battle would have gone if I didn't get the crit, um, could have gone on a lot of different places. So, yeah, this is like the epitome of a game-changing crit, I guess. Um, but we'll just see how that goes in the rest of the battle. Now I know he's super low. He comes like in our rocks, no defog, which is really nice. So he's gonna sack it, and I'm like, all right, sweet. So old yellow is gonna come in, and I'm like, oh, 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 I'm, I'm techno, and look at me, I've, I've got Venusaur. I hard wall you, ha. Huh? I, I've got the hardball Venusaur because your Zemons are Hoopa and I don't know Lucario like what maybe 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 those are your Zemons um I heard while you haha <laughs> I'm Venusaur I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna click sludge bomb right here uh because I wall you oh yeah fuck me I died of shattered Zyke synchronoise so this was a good bring on his part but it was very obvious and I really should have seen this shit coming um but yeah, that's just what happens. That's what happens when you're juiced like me, and you decide to play on a bus at like eight at night when you've been at fucking Disney World since like seven a.m. So yeah, I'm fucking retarded. Uh, what can I? What else can I say about that play? It was just really stupid, honestly. Um, so I lose that, and I'm like, oh fuck. So now I have to go into my scarfer. My, which is my buzzwall and I reveal that it's my scarfer and I'm like okay I'm just gonna EQ right here uh, and yes there goes the EQ and it does quite a bit to this thing not as much as I'd want though so I'm just gonna end up going right into my crocodile uh, as he pulls a double into the growth and I'm like ooh sweet I can fire off a freeze dry on this thing oh mm. what the fuck crocodile Cryogonal gets another crit versus this <laughs> Tangrowth, and I honestly think this one was, like, I don't know, you guys will see, like, he's a salt best Tangrowth, that's, that's obvious, like, he wouldn't have lived this crit if he was in the salt best Tangrowth, uh, so that's, that really sucks, because that means that my, it's now in range of my Sylveon after a plus one boost, like, no matter what, you can't break myself with the poison jab, but I'm gonna get into this in a second, show you, 
how much I really think this all mattered uh, when we actually get there. So yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna fire up that freeze dry. It knocks me off and he's down really low. So not what you can do there. And here I'm like, okay, Greninja, you come in. You're my kill leader. You can get another kill right now, possibly. But you know, it just goes to Alamomola. Um, I, I U-turn here because I don't want the, uh, I guess the Jolteon coming in on me for free considering that now my switch-ins are very limited. I go into my guy Fairy and I'm like, okay sweet, this is, this is my time to shine and I don't know what the hell just happened to my battle, is it playing? Okay, he protects here. I thought protect was pretty interesting because like, I could have done like a lot of different things here. Um, I could have just stayed in on my, uh... Sylveon and I could have just I don't know uh, and I'm gonna be really unprofessional and go grab my charger real quick because yeah All right, so I think the video screwed up before I uh, Told you guys I calm mind and he wish But he went for wish and I'm like alright So now uh, Tango's gonna come back in and this is where it's annoying that I got the crit because now I can get this hyper voice off and just kill it um, I would have probably calm mind it up again and then just proceeded to two shot it But he would have gotten the poison jab off and I would have not probably risked this uh, but it turns out he's full special Victini, um, which I thought was an interesting bring because what this means is that now, you guys see us up there because I was expecting a big creator or something. Blue first here, and I'm just trying to get behind a sub because I realized that he's not going to be breaking my subs with any of his attacks because he is special Victini uh, as opposed to the V create variant. Uh, so Psychic is going to come out there, and now I'm realizing already right, he's also not choice locked. So good things to know right here. So I subbed there. And on this turn, I'm just gonna calm mind up again, I believe, because this guaranteed puts the Diancie in range. Or I, I think I calm mind up the next turn. You guys can see that damage definitely tells me that he is AV. Um, like no other way around that that type of damage. He keeps on psychicking and doing all that shit. So I probably could have just kept on calm minding up here and been like in a pretty good position. Um, but instead, I just I, I decided I'm not gonna risk a crit and I'm just gonna keep on calm minding up because I always kill the Diancie and I'm always pretty good. So calm mind's gonna keep coming up here and now. Fancy because it has to mega is guaranteed in range of my attack and this is a GG because Diancy cannot um, take my hit from here and nothing can kill me unless he crits me so uh, yeah it's basically looking like this is good game um how much else to say about that shadow ball goodbye Victini and let's just see what happens here he's gonna go Diancy and I'm like oh sweet I nab a kill because I did this calc and uh, yeah it kills um actually goes this thing first and I'm like alright I'm gonna stop here because two flanks uh and yep that's that's what I do and in comes the Diancie and I'm like sub Shazam and yeah so if he's full special he can't break my sub anyways uh if he's got a physical move it's fine because I still kill this and then can win um Diamond, Diamond Storm's gonna come out here um no we're missing the big reveal because my fucking computer's lagging god damn it what the shit Alright, here comes, here comes base to check Enterprise's journey. Alright, here we are again. <sighs> because my computer's gay, I up here, and I'm like, sweet, I killed Diancy. Honestly, that's great. Diamond Storm's gonna come out there. Look at this shit. Look at this. Boy is fucking max HP, max special defense, fucking Diancy. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's at this point that I'm forgetting I subbed versus the Jolteon. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm still at like 62% health, so I'll take two hits from Jolteon anyways. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get back up to 50%. And um, yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna switch out going to my like rock dust because I can't lose this thing or else. Um, I have a chance of losing to a couple of different mons on this team. Um, that this max if you max bit of Diancy, it's a good bring, but I'm really confused. Like, oh my gosh, it, it just really bothered me. Apparently, his stealth was his set was apparently stealth rocks, moonblast, diamond storm, uh, rock polish with a sassy nature. So this is a crazy set for coming from Owen. Uh, so that, that was just a really cool bring on his part. I water shirk in there because I don't want to miss a hydro pump and this water shirt can always kills Diancy. I don't care if you're max but F, you will always die. I'm life orb. And here I'm gonna hit him with the pulse. Um yeah I crit uh that crit doesn't matter because he told me he mirror coded 
and mirror code does not affect the dark type so we all make those mistakes um now here i go full retard um here i just decide i'm gonna i'm gonna try to choke this game away um now there was this like every bone in my body said all right he is going to go for the um the volt switch here because if he thunderbolts I get in my Sylveon, and then uh, he just always loses. He has no shot to go for a Rock Polish with Diancy and possibly win this game. Um, also, I need Differential, and I did this calc, and apparently my Sylveon lived two hits, but it turns out I'm too low to where Sylveon will live two hits from this Jolteon no matter what. So I'm going to pull into my Buzz Bowl, because I want to preserve Differential and, sh and shit. And he gets a Thunderbolt off. So if he paired me, he won, like, flat out pretty much. Uh, unless I got like crazy water shirk and shit right off right there. Uh, but instead, I'm just going to make a basic choke play because uh, I'm stupid and I didn't count and I was tired. Uh, so, pretty dumb play on my part. I probably should have just gone for the win over differential, but it's totally fine. And yeah, so now Buzzle is just going to clean up. So, uh, GG to Owen. Definitely was a pretty uh, intense game. Uh, a lot of different things didn't go his way. Um, I think they ultimately uh didn't affect the outcome of the battle like in terms i think i still probably could have won this game like really easily not easily but like less easy obviously but like i, I think i still could have won this battle um in a lot of different scenarios so that that's all i gotta say on that uh so now we're six and one and uh yeah if if turk loses this week we are on top of the league which is amazing next week we have cloud who uh who's not had the best season so far but i uh, i think he can definitely turn it around so that'll be interesting to look out for. GG to Owen once again. Uh, super solid competitor and a content creator. You guys should all go check him out. Even though I'm sure you guys are probably watching his video and not mine. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. I'll just see you guys later sometime.